No, don't make it go away. So it's been about one year now since it was announced that the Mirage is going to be sold to the Hard Rock and that it was going to go through some crazy transformations. But throughout this whole past year, the Hard Rock has been very hush-hush about their plans and keeping us all in suspense. But they finally decided to reveal their plans, so we're going to talk about that today. Oh look, they have ducks here. Now another reason why I wanted to make this video is because I kind of want to make an homage to the Mirage. <laughs> that rhymes. But basically what I want to do is I want to have a time capsule of what the Mirage looks like now before they start making all the changes. Like you know how sometimes we wish that we had a lot more videos of what Vegas looked like back in like the 60s, 50s and so forth? So that way we can always have this video and look back whenever we want and reminisce on how great this property was. So we're here right now at the valet, and I don't know if you guys remember, um, the Mirage was actually featured in the movie called Vegas Vacation back in the 90s. And in my opinion, they have a, like this really iconic entrance scene that happens here in the valet and they go into the hotel. And honestly, like I've seen that scene over and over and it looks basically still the same. So I don't know, it's kind of cool that the Mirage was actually featured in the movie. So finally we are inside of the beautiful Mirage Hotel and Casino. We're at their most known spot right here, which is right in front of the garden. I feel like everybody knows about this garden here, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But first, let's walk this way. So first, I kind of wanted to show you guys the front desk because I think it's a very well-known front desk here in Las Vegas because of their fish tank behind. I mean, it has so many different types of fishes inside. It's really beautiful. They have coral reefs. And that has basically been there since the very beginning. I mean, it was actually made by the company Tanked, if you guys have known that from the TV show. Just kind of like a little FYI for you guys. I actually used to work here at the Mirage as a concierge over there in that corner, which I'll take you guys there in a second. But I think the funniest thing is that people would come here from all over the Strip because they were here to see the Mirage Aquarium. The Mirage has never had an aquarium. I think the internet just had it wrong and they had like misleading photos. So whenever people would come up to us and say like, oh, I'm here to see the aquarium, we, just had to point to that fish tank. It looks bigger on the internet than what it really was. But overall, it's still really pretty and really nice to see. I probably wouldn't have come from like all the way across the trip just to come see it. Yeah, this was my little corner. I was a concierge here at the Mirage. This was my view. I liked the job a lot. It was really fun. The only reason I left it is just so I could do full time on YouTube. That was really it. And then also because it was announced that, you know, Mirage is going to become a hard rock and, you know, I wasn't going to be a part of MGM Resorts anymore. I felt like it was a good time to leave. But if you guys are unsure of what a concierge is, basically we do anything with booking show tickets, dinner reservations, tours, limousines. Basically we do all the fun. I mean, we even did like rose petal decorations in rooms. So yeah, if your hotel does have a concierge, definitely use them. And this was the atrium. Yeah, this is like another very well-known area here at the Mirage. It's just like a garden and they have a waterfall inside. I actually took my employee picture right here in this corner. But yeah, it's like really pretty and I feel like it's the most well-known of the Mirage. So just to kind of give you guys information that we were gonna talk about. Uh, so first of all, the Hard Rock is owned by the Seminole Indian tribe and they did buy the Mirage from MGM Resorts for $1.8 billion. The sale is to be approved on December 19th, which by the time that this video comes out, it would have been like already a few days. So they are planning to do a whole bunch of changes. They are planning to gut pretty much the entire hotel and casino. Um, like first of all, the rooms. Right now, the Mirage has about 3,044 rooms. Once it fully becomes a hard rock, then it's gonna become 3,640 rooms. And that's obviously, of course, once they add on the guitar. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a room really quick. Now, they are gonna be also be renovating all of the rooms here, so I wanted to just show you guys what a room looks like right now. So, I have one of my subscribers here, Philip. He's letting me check out his room really quick. So, he has a standard king room right now. These are actually really nice. I thought they were super nice in general. Oh, this is one of the smaller bathrooms. So the rooms here, they're about 400 square feet. I mean, they do have their standard rooms. So it's a king, two queen beds. They didn't really have too many suites here. They would have like studio suites and then like one or two bedroom uh, suites as well. Now, something I kind of wanted to point out. So again, I used to be a concierge here. Um, we used to do rose petals. I mean, I used to. I thought I actually got really good. I'll try to show you a few pictures here and a little bit of videos. I got trained there by my supervisor and I actually became really good. Thank you again, Philip. Yo, peace. <laughs> <laughs> and then also when it comes to the casino, so right now the casino is at 94,000 square footage. They're gonna up it to 174,000 square footage. That's a lot, guys. Same thing with the slot machines. Right now they have 836 and they're gonna go up to 2,000. And then table games are gonna go from 51 to 212. So yeah, this place is definitely gonna grow. 
So currently right now, Heritage is our main steakhouse. I don't know if you guys remember, the, the OGs will remember. This used to be Kokomo's and it was so pretty inside and they had a really good lobster Popeye. I still dream of that Popeye. I always love Mirage's restaurants. I thought they were all really pretty, honestly. This one was one of my favorite here stack because the inside looked like a modern Grand Canyon. I don't know, I always thought it was super cool inside. Y'all, do you guys remember Cravings? Cravings used to be the buffet here at the Mirage. They did close down, you know, right when quarantine happened and then they just never came back. But shoot, I thought it was good. Now, if you guys ever stayed here at the Mirage or if you just happened to be here early in the morning, then you probably came here. This is Pantry. This was pretty much like their only breakfast restaurant here at the hotel. And this place was popping. Like the line to this was always really long. Because either for breakfast, you either got Starbucks or you came here. Yeah, I always really liked it here. I'm not a pancake person, but I always like their pancakes. And for the OGs, if y'all remember, this used to be BB King's. Oh, great restaurant too, the still. Have you guys seen the show? If you haven't, you have to. So this is the Beatles Love Cirque du Soleil. It's pretty much my favorite Cirque du Soleil in all of Las Vegas. I did show it off earlier in the year when I did my solo trip to Vegas. But yeah, basically in this theater, the stage is in the center and then the seats go all the way around. So there's no like true center section. Pretty much wherever you sit, you're gonna have a great view. And even if you don't like the Beatles, I mean, just going into the show, you're gonna come out loving the Beatles. Now, when they first announced that Hard Rock was gonna buy the Mirage, this is one of the first things that I thought about is, are they gonna keep the Beatles? So, so far they did announce that they are gonna be keeping the show until the end of 2023. After that, they are gonna have to reconsider, you know, if they're gonna keep the show, you know, once it does become Hard Rock. So if you haven't seen this show yet, please do come and watch it before it goes. But it might stay, who knows, we'll see. Welcome back to the Norma Jelly Cooking Show. Y'all know what time it is. Today, I'm gonna make y'all the seasoned croissant shrimp. That's right, I took French in high school. What, no? Okay. All right, seasoned hoisin shrimp. Let's go. So as your calendar is starting to fill up the season, you can count on HelloFresh to get you some of your free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and pre-portioned ingredients come right to your door, so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of the prep. If you're looking for variety, HelloFresh has over 35 recipes available to choose from each week, so there's always something to please everyone. You can choose from either family-friendly, fit and wholesome, or even veggie options. Plus, you can easily customize your meals by swapping out proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. And quality is HelloFresh's priority as the ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days. So, you know they're fresh. Seriously, I was so happy when I saw HelloFresh outside my door because all I thought was, yes, I don't have to fight people at the grocery store this week. And I just love trying new dishes that I would have never thought to try before. Some lime. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I need a little bit of everything in this first bite. Mm. Oh, I'm eating good tonight. So if you guys want to give it a try, just go into HelloFresh.com and use code NormaJelly18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com, code NormaJelly18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Now back to the video. Let's go outside. This is the pool, guys. I know it looks a little underwhelming right now, but it's because it is the middle of December right now, so they only have one of their pools open. But I wanted to show you this area anyway. So this right here is gonna be their main pool. Uh, usually right here they had a waterfall. It was actually really cold too. I actually showed them off in my best pools video, the first one I ever posted like about two years ago. But yeah, they have like this cool little area right here. Over on this side, they kind of had like a little shallow area where all like the babies would hang out in. But yeah, I even worked out here as a concierge. Um, they had like a little booth for us. Yeah, every single morning I would see people line up. Th this one, seriously, it would like line up all the way into the convention center because people wanted to like have their first pick of chair. Obviously the prime section wants to be right by the pool. And don't forget guys, they served old whips here. The first time that I ever stayed at the Mirage Hotel, I was like five or six years old and I actually almost drowned in this jacuzzi. I basically just jumped in and uh, yeah, my father had to go in after me. <laughs> 
So unfortunately, uh, they did close the secret garden. They actually closed it down a little bit early because you know they did have the deaths of two dolphins this year. This was a great place. Like this was definitely a family place to come. But this was like a really amazing spot. So they are just gonna find new homes for the animals that are inside. But yeah, they haven't exactly confirmed. But what I believe they're gonna do is that they're gonna get rid of this and they're just gonna expand the pool into a way bigger size. And then this right here is another one of their theaters. So this is the actual Mirage Theater. Uh, this is where Shin Lim performs and where they have a whole bunch of other uh, stand-up comics perform as well. Boyz II Men used to perform it here. Terry Fader used to perform it here. So they had a, a lot of really good artists in here. And then also they are planning to expand their theater. So between this theater and then the Beatles Love Theater, they have about 3,200 seats. So they are planning on making an even bigger theater that fits about 6,000. So we got to be excited for those concerts. So remember how I told you guys that I used to work here? So during my lunch breaks, a lot of the time I would come into their convention center because it's already super huge. And I would just like do my rounds there and then that's how I would get my steps in. So they're even going to make their convention center even bigger. So right now it's at 200,000 square feet. It's going to go up to 283. 3,000 square feet. All right, let's go back around this way. So really quick, I just want to show you guys their sportsbook here because even here, their sportsbook gets really popping. I mean, when it comes to like any of the NFL games, basketball games, pretty much any games that they would have. And then my favorite part of the whole year, so you know how the rodeo comes every single year, like in December? What Mirage would do is that they have free concerts every day. So this year it was from December 1st till the 10th. Every single night from like 10 p.m. and on, they would have a different country band performing here for free. You just have to be 21 and they would just be performing here it was like so amazing it just made me appreciate country music that much more really good appetizers here at this Mexican restaurant Diablos fun story again kind of going into nostalgia so this used to be BLT burger and there was a point where Gabriel Iglesias had his very own burger here and he had a thing where it's like the first 50 people to show up and buy his burger he would like come give you like merchandise and take a picture with you and yeah I was one of those first 50 people and then this spot right here is called Rumbar so with Rumbar it kind of had like an interesting story so they originally closed it down because something like Bruno Mars wanted to take over and have like his own bar right here at the Mirage but then that kind of fell through and they just basically it turned it back to rum bar. The decor is a little bit different. I actually showed it off in my outdoor lounges and bars video. But yeah, this lounge is actually really nice and then they always have like a New Year's Eve party here because it's right next to the volcano and then you can see all the fireworks from the outside. Now really quick before it gets too dark, um, I came all the way up here to the parking garage. I am currently on floor number seven because this is pretty much my favorite view in the entire city. You could see everything. I mean, of course, you got the Mirage, you got the Cosmo, Paris, Flamingo, Harris. And of course, over here, we have the Venetian, Palazzo, you have the Wynn, and Treasure Island right there. So I actually showed off this spot when I did my Hidden Gems video with Pompsy. And this is, I think, an amazing view. I mean, I've taken Instagram pictures on here. And then also, I think this is a really good spot to come see the fireworks. I mean, I did that a few years ago because usually it's gonna be the Treasure Island, Venetian, Caesar's Palace. And then, you know, you could still see fireworks down the strip as well. So I think it's really beautiful. Now, I don't know if security has noticed that a whole bunch of people come up here for New Year's. So I don't know if they're gonna do anything about it, but if you can, I mean, why not? And of course, we have to say goodbye to the beloved volcano. So this was basically the first thing that was announced I was gonna go bye-bye because they do wanna put in a 550-foot guitar tower that's like actual rooms inside. For that, they've already released plenty of pictures of what it's gonna look like, and I'm not gonna lie, that does look pretty cool. But of course, we're all gonna miss this volcano. I mean, it has been here pretty much since the beginning. I mean, it's been in countless movies, countless of my videos too. And of course, it was one of the free things to do, so so many people would have come from all over the strip just to see this. Now, I'm sure you guys wanna know if the Mirage is gonna stay open during renovations or if it is gonna close down. So they did end up saying that they are gonna be shutting down the Mirage for renovations either late 2023 or into 2024, and it's not gonna reopen until 2025 or 2026. Watch everything that I just told you guys in this video be like 100% wrong. Watch them like change their mind last minute. 
But in the end, we all know that the Mirage is going to cease to exist. Maybe not right away like we all thought it was going to, so you still have a chance to come and see it at least one last time. The Mirage was opened back in 1989, and it was considered to be the first resort on the Las Vegas Strip. And look at it now, it survived for over 33 years. The Mirage was a very special place to me, and will always be. I mean, this was home for me for several years. And I just wanted to make this video in case some of you are missing it as well, so you could always just look back into this and, you know, have a moment of nostalgia. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what's your favorite thing about the Mirage. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. No, don't make it go away. Okay, last time because I feel like my hair is crazy. But, but they finally decided to review their plan, so we're going to talk to you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, see? Thank you. Like sometimes don't you wish that you could have... Hold on. Like... Like, you know how sometimes you, you wish? Okay. I don't know if you guys remember, but the Mirage was actually in a movie called Vegas Vacation back in like the 80s. Was, was it the 80s? Well, first of all, the Hard Rock is owned. Yeah, Seminole Indian track. Um, once it fully becomes a, it's a square footage of 94,000, it's gonna become 174, shit, hold on. <laughs> so, oh, walk slower than that. <laughs> Wassler. Cravings used to be the cravings used to be the bur bleh. cravings used to be. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I remember they had like really long lines of a go like around this restaurant, around the other restaurant. Yeah, like this was the <laughs> pretty much the only breakfast restaurant here at the Mirage. I'm saying the Mirage too much. Okay. You most likely came here. God. Now, if you guys ever. Pr I actually showed off the spot in my Hidden Gems video like two years, wait, was it two years ago? Mirage did open in 1989 and it stayed for... <laughs> and look at it now, it's been open for over... Why am I, sorry, I'm fucking this up. <sighs> Cause I don't know where I'm fucking up and sorry, I have to do the whole thing again. And it always will be, I mean, this was my home for about, shit. <laughs>